Hi, I'm Lane Mandel. Sunlink offers a new way to travel to work, school, play, and to connect to other transit. Here are a few basics to make your ride fun, easy, and convenient. First, let's tour a streetcar stop. There are 23 Sunlink stops. Some are center stops and some are on the side of the road. Each stop has benches plus route and fare information. 11 stops have public art. Stops, ticket vending machines, and streetcars are ADA compliant. Every Sunlink stop has a ticket vending machine, which brings me to how to pay a Sunlink fare. Unlike the bus, there is no fare box on board and the streetcar operator does not collect the fare. To ride the streetcar, you must have a SunGo product loaded with a pass or cash value. Cash is not accepted once on board. Here are your SunGo options. One, load a pass or cash value on your current SunGo card or SunGo ID and card at vending machines at SunTran Transit Centers, sales outlets, or online. You can also purchase a SunGo card, a one-day SunGo ticket, or 30-day SunGo ticket at these same sites. Two, purchase a one-day SunGo ticket at a streetcar stop vending machine. Vending machines accept exact change, MasterCard, and Visa. A one-day SunGo ticket is valid for 24 hours once it's activated by tapping when you board. Go to www.suntran.com for more information on paying with SunGo. Use SunGo cards and tickets on SunLink, SunTran buses, and select Sun Shuttle routes. Now, let's get ready to board. A streetcar is electric and quiet. You may not hear it over traffic or if you are distracted, so be aware of your surroundings. Listen for the SunLink bell. That means the streetcar is nearby. Please wait for SunLink riders on board to disembark. Have your SunGo ticket, SunGo card, SunGo ID and card, or SunGo transfer ready as you board. Every time you board, tap your SunGo card or ticket at a reader. Tapping validates your fare and activates a pass. It ensures payment and processes a transfer. Tapping also provides SunLink with important information about ridership and service hours. There are four readers inside the streetcar near the center double doors, and at the front and back single doors. It's quick and easy. Just tap and go. Be aware that inspectors may ensure that proper fare was validated. Violators may receive a fine and a ticket. How you board depends on how you get around. Pedestrians can use rust-colored markings on the pavement at the stop as a guide to where to board. Streetcar passenger doors will align with those marks. Enter the streetcar through those doors. Passenger seats are on either side of the streetcar. Standing room with handrails and straps is also available. Service animals are welcome on the streetcar with their handlers. If you have a disability that prevents you from stepping up to board the streetcar, look for the yellow pavement markings at each stop. Those marks indicate the location of the ADA entrance for the streetcar. When the streetcar stops, push the blue ADA accessibility button by the door. It triggers a ramp and doors will automatically open. Please note this ramp is only for people with disabilities who cannot step onto the streetcar. As you enter, you'll find designated areas for you to ride. When you want to exit at a stop, you have two options to trigger the ramp. Press the round blue ADA accessibility button, or press the blue accessibility bar. Cyclists, dismount and wheel your bike to the stop. You'll enter the same streetcar doors as pedestrians. You'll stand with your bike on board. There's a designated area in the center of the streetcar for you to stand with your bike. Look for seats that face each other and locate the yellow handle on the corner of the seat. Flip the seat up. Now you have room to stand with your bike. Now it's time to relax and enjoy the ride. Now here are some tips. To see the streetcar route and stops, look at the route map above the center doors. Electronic message boards inside the streetcar also provide important information. To request a stop, press the yellow stop request bar. A press alerts the Sunlink operator to stop. Prior to each stop, an announcement will tell passengers which stop the streetcar is approaching. May I have your attention, please? That will help you prepare to leave. As you leave, remember to take all of your belongings. If there is an emergency on board, push the emergency button on the intercom located next to the center doors. The Sunlink operator will answer. Operator, what's your emergency? Find specific rider rules for Sunlink passengers at suntran.com and sunlinkstreetcar.com. The Sunlink Streetcar is the fun and convenient way to travel and connect. Whether you're going to work, shopping, to a concert, out to eat, going home, or going to cheer on your favorite team, 
Sunlink Streetcar will take you there. Sunlink, it's going my way.